Hello, Verna just popping back in. I want to continue our discussion on women and theology. I want to add something new in the mix. I want to talk about women, theology, and emotion. Uh, women are more emotional than men. We just are, and that's a good thing. God created us that way. We just do emotions better. <laughs> it's just the way it works. If you have a child, you will learn that right off the bat. If they fall and scrape their knee, who do they run to? Who did you run to as a child? Well, your mom. Why? Because she was going to give you the hug and she was going to give the emotions. We are um, needing those emotions for the many tasks that we do. So God planned for us to be more emotional. However, like all things in life, we need to make sure that everything we're doing is in line with scripture. And sometimes for women, we let our emotions get in the way of our good theology. It's kind of like what your greatest strength can also be your greatest weakness. And we need to remember that when we approach theology. I love Sproul. I, I just have a great regard for him. And one of the things that I love about him is his ability to take these great big concepts and make them understandable. Not dumb them down, make them understandable. And so when he went to name his um, ministry, he called it Renewing of the Mind. Wonderful title. But in the reform circles, we tended to think in terms of mind, 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 and we forget emotions. Uh, we have a little bit of a rap of being the frozen chosen. We do, but we're not. We just l would like to pretend we are. And I say that because just as we need renewing of our mind, we need re renewing of our emotions. But I do believe it starts in the mind. When you look into scripture and you see theology and you see things that you need to wrap your head around and wrestle with. I feel that the Holy Spirit works on your head and then brings your emotions into line. Let me give you an example. When I first started looking into Scripture and seeing the, um, the Reformed way of viewing it, I mean, I saw it in Scripture. That's why I believed it. I was wrestling with it in my mind. However, I didn't like it. My emotions were not there. I think for the first year that I considered myself reformed, I didn't like it. I knew it was there. And just as my mind needed to get in line with scripture, my heart did too. And it took the Holy Spirit uh, some time to chip away at this heart, hard heart to make my emotions go there too. But they did. Why? Because I saw it in scripture. I saw it in scripture, so I wrestled with it in my mind, and then my emotions followed. If you are in my Sunday school class, you will see that I get very, very excited uh, about points of theology. I have excitement. It's not this stoic, we're sitting there all stiff talking. We as a group of women are wrestling with things in our mind and with our emotions. We have sat there and laughed. We have sat there and cried. We have emotion, but we're making our emotions come into our theology. Our theology is not run by our emotions. But that's where true emotions can be. It's where we can find a release for our emotions in a proper way. Because it's got a foundation. It's not just a platitude to make me feel good, but it's scripture, which is good. Let me give you an example. I'm on Facebook all the time. Um, obviously, um, and, and different social media platforms. And I have some dear Christian friends who like to put up these little memes about, you know, you are a princess, you are a child of the king. So put on your crown and go out there. And I just look at those and I think, that's not helpful. That's not a good emotion because I can put on my crown. I can get up in the morning, call myself a princess, put on my crown and walk out there in the world and flick. In about five minutes, the world's going to take that crown and send it right off my head. Why? Because I put it on my head. I'm saying who I am. No, I am a princess. But why? Not because I declared it, but because my father is the king and he holds me in his hand. So when I think about being a princess, it's not in the regal sense of watch out world, here I come. It is with the emotion of comfort and joy that I am in his hand. And if I am in his hand, no one can pluck me out. It's not about the crown on my head. It's about who holds me. Therefore, my emotions are not invested in me. 
but invested in the one who holds me. And that brings me real joy. That is where my emotions are going to be. So as Christian women, we need to be taking our minds and making it subject to scripture, but we need to be taking our emotions and making them subject to scripture. They're not bad. We're not going to jettison them. We're not going to become the frozen chosen. We have emotions, but they need to be founded on the correct things so that they can be emotions that bring honor and glory to God, but also bring us real joy. We are going to hit highs. We are going to hit lows. But where is our foundation? It's in scripture, not just for the renewing of our mind, but for the renewing of our emotions. Women need theology. We need theology in its full sense to embrace it in its full way with our mind and with our heart. So don't worry about being a frozen chosen by studying theology. Study your theology to have true emotion. So I hope that gave you something to think about, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much.